So we are getting ready for a solar eclipse, a full solar eclipse coming up here in North Texas. I'm in the Dallas area, so got to get the lawn cleaned up. Probably going to sit out and grab myself a drink and experience this. The last time we had something like this, I was a child, probably 11 years old, back in 1979. As a matter of fact, I found a little clip, a news clip of it. And if you happen to miss this, you will have to travel somewhere else. Most of the solar eclipse have been over the ocean, so you had to be, to get the full experience, you know, you had to be in the ocean so this is a big opportunity so I'm going to put this I'm going to put this clip out here for you for you guys to check it out and hopefully I can have a good memory of this um, as the future goes on if you missed today's eclipse you'll have another chance in the year 2024 that's the year that Texas will see a total solar eclipse this is Pat Couch for Texas News. The solar eclipse attracted small groups all over the SMU campus. Professors Charlie Ballison and Harold Blum gathered with students and staffers behind the Mechanical Engineering Building to watch the celestial phenomenon. Ballison had charted the movement of the moon across the sun, and Blum was measuring radiation the sun put out at various stages. Both admit that very little serious science was being attempted. It was just for fun. However, they would like to discover just what effect the eclipse had on temperature and illumination in Dallas. Across the campus, Dr. George Crawford had set up two displays to allow curious students to view the eclipse without burning their eyes. First, he arranged a mirror to reflect the image of the eclipse on a home movie screen, although the results were not particularly impressive. And he also set up a telescope with the proper solar shield that allowed students to look directly at the sun. Probably the most simple and most effective way of viewing the eclipse was through two layers of fully exposed photographic film. The same film we used to cover our videotape camera to capture these pictures of the moon crossing the sun. Just to see it alone uh, awakens the imagination. And then one begins to ask the question, how does the universe actually move? How do we know that these three bodies, the Earth, the moon, and the sun, are in this regular motion with respect to each other where we can predict exactly when such a three-body alignment is going to occur? So with that being said, I think it'll be about 40 years, 45 years or so where this area where I am that we'll see a solar eclipse. Other than that, you have to travel to various places around the world in order to see it. So this is going to be an experience for a lot of people. Probably, uh, I know I'm probably never going to go and travel to see a solar eclipse, but I'm interested uh, I'm ready to enjoy it as an adult and to watch the skies turn totally dark within a matter of minutes. Uh, it's going to be exciting. I think I'm going to go live on, find out how to go live on uh, one of these social media accounts so I can uh, always have it for myself and for the people who are not in the area to see the total eclipse you know there's going to be people uh, that are not going to get a chance to see it in totality but watch it live with me on the 8th thanks for watching